Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining, my name is Allison. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed and you like this video, I hope you will consider doing so before leaving today. What I wanna do, I finally, finally, finally found the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette in rose in or rose i should say rose in the air this rose in the air is 4.99 and this modern renaissance palette by anastasia is 42 dollars so as you can see there are a lot of similarities i have seen a lot of comparisons between the two on YouTube and on social media. I wanted to do it for myself. I wanted to see for myself and share with you guys my thoughts and feelings. So if you'd like to see how it all turns out, then please keep watching. Okay, so I did basically everything except my eyes and my lips. I went ahead and I primed my lids with my concealer and I have been loving the Catrice Liquid Camouflage. So both of my eyes are primed the same way. Raw Sienna is one of my favorite transition colors of all time. So we're gonna see if this bottom transition lives up to the performance of Anastasia's. I know how Anastasia performs and I'm really excited to try Wet n Wild. So I'm gonna try Wet n Wild first. We're gonna do Wet n Wild on my right eye. I believe if you're watching, it's gonna be your left. I don't know, but my right eye. We're gonna go in with this one. Not bad, guys. And there was not a lot of kickback either. Okay, so just get this all clean of the wet and wild. And now we're gonna dump in, dump into. <laughs> Now we're gonna dip into Raw Sienna from the Modern Renaissance palette. Okay, so I do think that there might be a little bit more pigment in Raw Sienna. Let me go back in with a little more. Those two look the same to me. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them. Modern Renaissance is on the bottom and the Wet n Wild is on the top. Now I kind of wanna deepen things up a bit and we're gonna go into this shade right here, which is super similar to Realgar, which is this one right there. Let's go into Realgar on the Modern Renaissance side. You guys, I'm like, really blown away right now. And I'll go ahead and I will swatch. So this is Anastasia and this is Wet n Wild. Let's try this one right here. Bum, bum, bum. And that looks very similar to Red Ochre. I swear to God, they're the same. I mean, they're so similar. I think this shade from Modern Renaissance might be a little more rusty red, whereas the Wet n Wild Color Icon one might have a little bit more of a cool blue undertone to it. I, You guys, I honestly cannot, like they, to the touch, these shadows, these Wet n Wild shadows, they feel so creamy and buttery. So actually, I mean, my swatches were not great, but Modern Renaissance is down here, Wet n Wild is up here. Okay, now I'm gonna just deepen up those outer corners. I mean, it's really pretty. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it underneath because I feel like I have some excess. Color switch. Super similar, guys. Super similar. You know, I at this point I cannot tell a difference. Let's highlight this other problem. Okay, this one definitely is powdery, but it's real. It goes on really nice. It's really pigmented. So actually, as far as these shades go, Tempera has a little bit more pink in it, and the Wet n Wild shade has a little bit more of like a true cream bone. 
but they're very similar. And on the eyes, I would say the biggest difference is I see some of like a pearlized finish versus like I said, the true matte. So I always do this with my finger, even the modern Renaissance one. So that's how I'll apply this eye. From the lid kind of into the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with this champagne -y color right here, which is super similar to Primavera. So far, this is the shade I'm the least impressed with. All right, and now we'll go into Vermeer. I mean, I think Vermeer definitely packs more of a punch, but it's pretty similar. Let's go into that transition shade that looks just like Rossiana, that very first shade that we applied and just pop up a smoker out. And do the other side. And Rossiana. Like Ross Sienna might have just like a touch more pigment. But like almost not even noteworthy. So I think the biggest difference that I'm noticing so far is this champagne -y color right here. It has it's more like gold gold as opposed to champagne when you're looking at them side by side on the eye. And the shimmer is maybe a little chunkier. I'm gonna use this dark brown shade and just kind of see how it performs close onto my lash line. I can tell you right now it's not gonna be as dark, I don't think, as Cypress Umber is. Yeah, Cypress Umber, yeah. I feel like of the, the shadows in the palette, that dark brown shade, is really the one that is the most different as far as quality goes and shade. Okay. Now I'm gonna put on a little bit of mascara and lips and I will be back with my final thoughts. All right guys, well that concludes this little palette dupe test first impressions, whatever you wanna call it, video. I haven't decided on the title. The Wet n Wild performed really, really, really well, especially for $4.99. Can you guys look at my eyes and tell the difference? I mean, I, I can't. I would definitely give it my seal of approval. As always, if you guys have any videos you would like to see, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you have not subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing before leaving. And if you did like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. All right, you guys, thank you so much, and I will see you back here next time. Bye.